In this um, video, I want to talk about the Nanoscope analysis software and in particular how to uh, use shading of images and also how to change the Z aspect ratio. So as before, we load up an, an image from the E drive or wherever you've got the data stored. And again, we have to level the image. Uh, see the previous video for this and we found out that the flatten one was the good one to use. And so here are some nanofibers zoomed in from the previous image. And again, we do the 3D. And the first thing I want to show you is how to change the Z aspect ratio. That's this last uh, item here on the menu. Um, so here is the image and you would have noticed, as I spin it around, you'll notice that the height is much higher than it should be, or higher than it seems to, to look. In AFM images, the X and Y are always scaled uh, one to one, but the Z is always um, exaggerated. Um, now, in some images, it's probably exaggerated too much. So you wouldn't imagine these nano fibers, which have a spherical cross section, to have this kind of height. So we can reduce this um, fairly qualitatively on this Z aspect ratio. We just decrease this number. So let's just half it. So 0 0.1, 0 0.05 and does that look okay so you have to do it by eye there's no uh, clever way of doing it um, maybe that's a little bit too high still possibly okay um, 0.01 see that's a little bit too flat so let's go 0.02 maybe settle for 0.03 let's see how that looks Let's go for that. Okay, so that's how you change the Z aspect ratio and then you would save the image like you've done before. Um, just one thing I also want to show you, uh, height mode. We talked about what br what's bright is high up. That's height mode. Uh, we can also have this mixed one here which has this artificial light source. And if with the right mouse button, if I move around, you can see the lights coming in from different angles. So it can come in from above, the sort of midday position. If you imagine the sun shining on the image, uh, or on the left hand side, again, right click, bring it down to the left hand side, or conversely over to the right hand side. So you can change the lighting conditions. And for some images, this works really well. You can see the, the numbers here change as I do that. For some images, this works quite well. For other images, um, particularly nanoparticles, nanofibers, it looks a bit false. So I tend not to use it. So if you want to turn it off, then you would just turn it off here. Instead, it says mix because it's a mixture of uh, the incident light coming at a certain angle and also the topography. So there is the height mode mixed with the lighting, which gives the mixed. There isn't a lighting uh, without the height. The wire diagram is uh, hardly ever used. Um, so that's uh, how you do that. Um, incidentally, there is also this parallel perspective. N normally it's uh, parallel. You can change it to perspective, you know, if you want the the bit towards you being larger than the, the um, part behind, so you can change that uh, kind of ratio. Normally I have it on parallel, but uh, you can change it around. And again, you would save the image as you've done before using export, using TIFF, 300 DPI. Um, so see the other video for that. But I just wanted to show you really the shading and also this Z axis. Uh, ratio, z-axis aspect ratio. Okay, thanks for listening.